Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. I've actually got a co-host today. We're going to be playing a game, and his name is Orbital Potato. Yo, yo. How you doing, Brink? How you doing? Real good. All right. Orbital Potato is from Scotland. And yeah, uh, that's I me. Yep, came across his channel the other day off of a subcom search, so we invited him over to have a game. Um, we're actually going to be playing two games back to back. This one is going to be obviously on my channel, and if y'all click the link in the description when it gets posted, um, Orbital Potato is going to have the other game on his channel. So we're going to dive into the sandbox game. It's a 2v2, and hopefully we'll have a good time with it. See, I have a feeling, right? I have a, I have a very funny feeling that I am going to be annoying a lot of people because I am not very good at this game. I well, want to be honest. That's totally fine because um, it's from my viewpoint, so they'll only get little snapshots when I zoom in over here on your base. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that that's a good point. That's a good point. Maybe have it won't be any, too like, painful. <laughs> have, have you got any any absolute beginner tips on um, what I should be doing? Well, I would build my land factory next to a mass extractor so that uh, you get the adjacency bonus off of that. And on this map, a good starting build would be Factory, mass extractor, and two power plants next to your factory. All right. Um, so that your factory costs less to produce, and I just make a steady stream of engineers out of that factory. How, how many engineers is a good number of engineers? All the engineers. Um, All the engineers? Okay. <laughs> Build power I, is I'm critical. Down with, I'm down with that, man. Yeah. The more engineers, the better. Especially I if you're setting up a turtle game. Um, one factory making engineers the entire game is actually not a bad thing. Mm -hmm. I can I can well believe that. All right. Okay. So I see. It's just I don't really I really don't want to go too hard too fast. You know what I mean? If yeah. I feel that if I do that, I'll, I'll look like an idiot, and it'll also be terrible for everything. And I'm not keen on that. I'm afraid. <laughs> well, everybody finds a balance, and sometimes it just takes time. So. If you if you haven't yeah. logged thousands of games like Blackheart, there's no real shame in uh, not using the absolutely most efficient build order. Well, I certainly hope so. I certainly hope so. I must say, we're playing on what is it? FAF. I yes. love this thing, man. It's great. It's awesome. And it's you're coming over life. from Steam, right? Yep, I am indeed, and I'm loving it. It's uh, it's phenomenal. All right. All right, if you look over here in this corner, there is a handy-dandy pile of rocks, which is several hundred mass worth of reclaim. Um, so if you drop an engineer over there and reclaim that, it lets you tech up really well. Sweet. I will do that right away. I'm going to go ahead and throw down a land factory, too. Um, or an air factory, rather, so you won't have to worry about air cover, I don't think. Okay. Another that's, people. That's very kind of you. Another thing people don't realize: um, if you reclaim those trees, they're actually worth a hundred power and one mass, or not a hundred power, ten power and one mass per tree. So you can actually reclaim power as well if you're stalling on your early build. Oh, okay, that's that's actually kind of nice. All right, so I need some. I'm correct in thinking that if I uh, if I put up some mass storages around the mass extractor, I will get a nice little bump to my uh, mass extraction. Is that correct? You will, uh, but I would wait till you have T2 mass extractors. Um, it's a 50% bump, so at T1, um, you're only pulling two. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, two per tick, so that means it'll be pulling three, which is not worth the investment of storage. Um, oh, okay. But if you're on T2 mass extractors, if you cap those, you go from six to nine income, which pays for itself oh. pretty quickly. Oh, that is juicy, that is. That is really juicy. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw caution to the wind and go for tier two. Is that appropriate? Uh, absolutely. Um, it might actually be useful to drop an air factory yourself once your power's up, which, by the way, if you need power... Um, the hydro costs about the same as a T1 power generator, but it makes 100 power. So you need to get okay. that as soon as you can in the game because it really helps with balancing your power. Um, All right. I'm on it. After you get your hydro, if I were you, I would build a um, an air factory for transports so that you can drop places. 
because right. this map is of a sufficient size where it's going to take a little while for units to walk. Oh man, you are you are right on top of this. Look, you're you're my carry. You're <laughs> you're saving my ass. Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is a that is a valuable valuable point you make. All right, so uh, yeah, I probably should get some more mass extractors. Because I've only got three, and that's probably not good enough. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm leaving this one out here. You can grab these two in front of your base, and then there's one over by your engineer that's sucking up rocks to the oh, left. Sweet. And sweet. then if I you wish... totally do that. If you wish to have even more than that, um, you can go up to the right-hand north corner of the map. And uh, there is an expansion up there. Three mass extractors on the way with some more reclaim up there. All right, so I'm going to build some units. I feel that building some units is, is only right. Would you recommend some mongooses or some uh, heavy tanks? What do you think? Um, if you are not going to babysit them, I would recommend tanks. Uh, mongoose have very, very low health, although they're fast and long range. So if you're not very careful with your unit micro, um, they're kind of paper. They're going to die really easily. All right. I can I can get down with that. All right, so we're fighting folk out there. I'll yep. get some tanks on the way to do what little I can for the team. All right, I'm down with this. I'm am down with this. You know, I'm 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 sort of liking having somebody just uh just pick me up <laughs> and, and carry me through this entire game. I like it. It's uh it seems to be working out so far. All right, you wanted me to do plonk down an air factory? Is that something you wanted me to do? Um, I think an air factory would be useful, yes. Um, that is going to let you... Uh, that's going to let right, you drop units across the map. Um, it gets things much, much quicker than uh, walking. All right. I'm All actually right, going to can... try to be sneaky right here. I'm gonna drop some units around behind in the base. Ooh. Yeah, see, scummy Cybran. See it, you know? I, I told you, it's not scummy. It may be backstabbing, and it may be incredibly sneaky, but definitely not scummy. <laughs> I think we have some different uh, different definitions of scummy, my friend. Good oh, lord, yeah, look at the Air Scouts. If Air Scouts could kill, we would both be dead right now. <laughs> I have uncovered a pile of like 20 air scouts over here in the corner. That's impressive. <laughs> there is definitely some intel going on right here. They may not know about any other place on the map, but they definitely know what's going on in that corner. But what's what's interesting about those particular cliff faces? I, I'm not aware that they were spectacular in any way. Perhaps they are trying to carve a monument into it. I don't know. The drop is successful. We have Mantis in the base. Oh wow, this is nice. This is something special we're witnessing right here, ladies and gents. This is next level. Well, I should feel bad because he's only an 800 rank, so this is kind of mean. It's not, no, 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 Do not feel mean, right? I am, I am a rank zero, right? You've got to compensate, right? For the fact that they are, you know, they're not amazing, but they're pretty decent, right? And you've also got to compensate for the fact that I am terrible. So, this is I think true. what you're doing is perfectly legitimate, right? Perfectly legitimate. Alright, do you need some, uh... I don't know, I suppose I could give you some attack bombers, some tech one attack bombers. Does that help? Oh, just use them. Use them how you see fit. Alright. Awesome. I'll do that. Uh, I just, I always feel, I always feel that I, I run out of mass. I stall right, on mass. They have tech two air, so you may want to build a couple anti-air defense around yourself. Um, they do have T two bombers. All right, I'm done with that. I can totally Actually, that. never mind. Scratch that. You have a T two air factory or land factory, so I would build yeah. a mobile flak and a mobile shield and just assist them to your commander and they'll stay right next to you. Sweet. What did you say? A mobile a mobile flak and a mobile shield. Yes. 
That way, no matter where your commander goes, um, he will have protection. All right. Let's, uh, let's get the heavy tanks. Okay, so basically I'm building a ton of heavy tanks and I'm sending them to the front lines, basically. That is... Okay. I definitely have and, no complaints. Uh, good. I'm, I'm glad. Uh, I will build some... I'll build some anti-air just to scare them off. Actually, since you have the T2 uh, land factor, I wouldn't mind you building the mobile flak and sending it up to the front either. That would mobile be very flak? helpful. Consider it done. Right, this is going to be my... This this mobile flak and these these mobile flak cannons, they are going to be my, my crowning glory, right? Watch it this be the one be thing stem. standing between me and death. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Right? You got that right. That's how valuable I'm going to be to this entire game. All right. Oh, you've got a nice, beautiful little base going on there. Well, thank you. It's... Keywords being... Little. Oh, oh, crap. I didn't tiny. see this. Uh, you've got units. You need to walk your ACU to the front. Like El Pronto. El Pronto? Yes. Right there. Alright. That's okay. Engineers, please get out of there. Please get out of there, Tier 2 Engineers. Alright, there we go. That's fine. We got this, man. We got this. Easy. We just clean up on the flat cans that are coming in at the back. I got two T1. Um... Wow, I am not doing very well at the moment. I am. Ah, nice bomber. It's all right. I got your back, man. I it's forgot good, to build a, a radar. That... That's the problem here. We need a radar. It's a good thing. It's a good thing you've got you know a semi incompetent player hanging around at the back to uh, you know repel <laughs> any sneaky attacks. It's a good thing for me, eh? Yes, yes. <laughs> All right. What what should I build? Uh, I've got lots of Tech Two engineers, and I should probably be building some power generators or something. So yeah, when you're tech when you're teching, the most efficient order of events is capture all of the tech one mass extractors you can upgrade all of your safe tech one mass extractors to t2 and then start capping your t2s with storage and after you have them capped then you start t3 mass extractor upgrades oh man so this t1 is... t2 caps t3 uh-huh okay could you move that flak one. towards this base just a little bit? There's Corsairs yep. on my, uh, filling Zip my mass extractors. Up. In fact, you know what? Have a second one. Fantastic. I am a generous person. <laughs> there you go. There we go. And there we he go. is See? gone. Good deal. I proved my usefulness. That you have, that you have. I feel fantastic right now. Alright. So... Let's get some mass storage, and then let's upgrade that. Great. And all right, great. I feel I feel I'm I'm on top of the world. Do you do you need to move radar? your tanks back. Um, he has point defense there. All right. On it. You can see him getting hit there. Yeah, do you want me to build some artillery or something to try and take No, you're out? good. Yeah, no bother. Okay. All right, so... All right, I'm going to ping, ping a scout across here and see what's going on on the other side. All right, all of these units are moving to the right, so we need to send our units over there. To the right. All right. Yep, see all those dots? Okay. Yep. Okay. Oh, no, he's, he's, he's doing, he's doing some pretty interesting stuff, I must say. Yeah, he's trying to pull a pincer maneuver. Oh, I don't want to, I don't want to engage with my, uh, my attack bombers, because I'm pretty sure they'd get wrecked. Commander under attack. Man, you are, you're the number one carry, my friend. Right. Okay, let's just 
there. Three, two. Oh, we're already up to tier two. Let me get some transport. No, nope, that's torpedo bombers. Commander under attack. All right. Okay. All There's right. commanders out there, actually. Yep, That's you can set all, all your bombers trade. to attack over there. You want me to attack his commander? Alright. And... Okay, I'm uh, going at him. Not entirely sure if this is going to be successful. I would I would say not highly unsuccessful, but unsuccessful nonetheless. Although we're fairly pushing his lines. Maybe not a complete failure. Hey, you never know. Maybe maybe I'm I'm gonna redefine my crime and glory. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's fine. I'm I'm okay with that. Right. Maybe maybe I'm not just a, a useless flak producing dude after all. Hey, there's nothing wrong with flak. Nothing there's at nothing all. There's nothing wrong with flak, no. Flak can but, be highly, highly useful. You know what? Thanks, thanks, man. You really... Oh, that's, that's really cheered me up. Oh, no! Right. Air scouts again! <laughs> Why? Oh, man, that's... <laughs> Why? why did you ever build so many? <laughs> like, why? Intel is good, but those do cost about two thirds of an interceptor. So you figure those five scouts that he built, that would yeah. have been about three more interceptors that could have been uh, wailing on daft. my air force. I just daft. I just there. Okay, I need to start pumping out more tanks. What do you think about going up to tier 3? Do you reckon I could pull that off? I'm already halfway through that upgrade. Um, oh, wow. Let's see, you are on... What is your mass income right now? Uh, 36? Um, what I would do is I would pull some of your tanks back that are heading towards the front, and I would push that side. There's four T1 tanks over there. And, um, All right. I would uh, I would kill those tanks and then I would expand up here and get these extra mass extractors up top. Sweet man, that All is right. what I would do. You're the boss. You know what needs to be done. Consider it done. All right, idle engineers, go help build some stuff. You, we're gonna get some more tanks. All right, full tank production all the time. Never anything else? No. Oh, what do crap. You think about There's another Corsair. What do, what do you think about using um, mass fabricators? Um, Is that something I should be I doing? I wouldn't until I run out of other economy options. Um, mass fabricators are pretty inefficient compared to mass extractors because you have to build power generators to make them produce mass. Um, okay. So usually that's a very, very late game option on big maps. It's after you maximize your uh, potential with your T3 upgrades on your mass extractors. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, I, I get it. I get it. Ooh, strategic bombers. Oh, I do like the look of a strategic bomber. <clears throat> They are not at T3 air yet, so we don't have to worry about them from them, but if you want to build one... I would love to build them. Um, yeah. This, I probably wouldn't do that, because clink cameras are extremely expensive, um, especially right. when you're on as low a mass income as you are. So, I would put that mass into something else. Just and I think, troops, basically. Yeah, you have more than enough tanks there to take that upper expansion. All right. Okay. Um, do you have enough? Yeah, you've got enough flat cannons up there. Do you need any more flat cannons? I've got quite a lot of flat cannons. No, I think we're honest. good. 
I'm oh, actually about to build know, an experimental here. What already? Uh, oh, I don't have the power income. Actually, let's do a T3 power generator, then the T4. That would be much wiser. So you know what you need to take over those uh, those rogue fighter bombers up in the corner there. I think you you actually might need some some flak. Ah, <laughs> oh, they'll be dead before the flak gets here. Oh, you got interceptors man. on the case. Oh, that's that's really disappointing, actually. I'm sorry. I was looking for yet another chance to be useful. Alas, I could not find it. Why, why the heck is? Why? Why would you continue building that? I didn't want you to continue building that. Whatever. It's fine. Alright. All right. Uh, I would probably send this group of flak with those tanks up there so that when they get way out far away from your base, um, they can't be harassed by air. Alright. Ah, but maybe, maybe, right, my delaying, uh, by delaying <clears throat> that flak, I've tempted him into sending an air force to attack <laughs> set a booby trap right you need to think of these next and you are traps, a man. flak building machine <laughs> i know i know it's uh it's rather so insane. so many flak oh they've scouted my monkey lord no where is this monkey lord being built right next to my acu keep your uh nice. keep your units up front they don't need to or, or your flak rather that helps prevent um, All right. a bomber snipe on my ACU, although I am under a shield, so I don't think... It would take a whole lot of bombers to kill me at this point. All right, that's good to know. That's good to know. All right, well, they are scattering. They do not have anything to deal with this monkey lord, it looks like. So I think I'm just going to be able to walk this into their base and trample everything. This is good news. This is really good news. All right, I'm going to ping a scout across that north position. Oh, they have a lot of T1 point defense. That's okay. I got a lot of power and uh, and ambition, actually. Ambition typically loses to T1 point defense. Just throwing that out there. Maybe, maybe yours is uniquely powerful. Well... You can think positive, and uh, <laughs> that always helps. Looks like I am probably going to lose. <laughs> that would hey. be thanks to the wonder of wall sections. <laughs> All right, wow. the Monkey Lord lives. We now begin the march for domination. Good. I like this whole domination business. Well, he's building a lot of T2 fighter bombers. I think that is their plan for dealing with this, and I can pretty much tell you right now it's not going to work. Well, I can build some uh, intercept air superiority fighters, even. Could you move not a bit yet. of flak up just behind the Monkey Lord so that whenever the air does eventually come attack it, um, the flak will kill it? Oh, consider it done. That would be consider massively helpful. Done. Oh, you have no idea how useful this flak is going to be, man. Oh, they're they're walking into our carefully prepared trap, eh? All right. There, there, there. there. Oh, I spy a commander. You're going to be dead in just a minute. Yeah, I reckon that's right. Oh, he's overcharging okay. the Monkey Lord. Die! There we go. Oh. One down. <laughs> there we go. That's how he's done. <clears throat> that was that was quite impressive, I must say. Do you feel somewhat... Uh, do, you, do you feel somewhat saddened about the fact that your Monkey Lord is no longer with us? Or is that just, you know, the price of doing business? Oh, it's it's still kicking. It's marching oh, up into the base great. as we speak. Even better. It would have been a good trade even if the ACU did kill it, but... Uh, uh -huh. Oh, wait. Oh, I left it on full share. Whoops. 
So that means that this mean guy something? has two bases now. It means when one player dies, the uh, stuff that he owns goes to the other player. Oh, okay. So I need to come kill all of this. I've got some air superiority fighters that... Uh, Fantastic. ...will be probably useless in retrospect. Are your... Uh, Although, your power stalling horrendously, aren't you? Um, I, I don't really know. Um, I'm, I'm doing all right, I think, for power. I'm, Up in the top yeah. left, the bottom register on the yellow bar. Are you in the red? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. no, 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 I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm uh, barely holding on. Oh, okay. But it's fine. <laughs> oh, he built a Salem. There is a uh, ship coming to land over there. Oh, okay. I didn't think that anybody would actually go naval on this, but... Uh, well, Salem's can be kind of handy, because the uh, Cybern boats can walk. Uh-huh. Okay, that's that's looking pretty cool. That's looking very cool, actually. If you go oh swarm God. it with your... Oh, never mind. You have almost entirely flak at the front. As I was to say, if you go swarm <laughs> it with your T2 tanks, um, t the tanks can deal with the Salem, but you don't have any. So I'll just oh, send the if, second monkey lord only. over there. <laughs> if only. <laughs> uh, only I, I had a useful unit composition. Alas, I am left with flat cannons only. So many flak though. Hey man, don't diss the flak. All right, I'm engaging him up in the top right. That is not looking extremely good for you, mate. Well, they're mostly they're mostly tag one, so that is true. I, I think I'm in with a chance. Although no, no, it does I not. I spot work. two I rhinos, four rhinos. See, the bad thing about it, those uh, Medusas, the Cybern T1 artillery. They're actually stunning your pillars. Um, their shots have a stun effect. Oh, that's not good. Man. Oh, wow. He's swarming his, uh, his right side. Alright, I can respect that. I spy a boat. I don't see an ACU yet. We need to crank out a bunch of air scouts here and see where his ACU is at. Would would uh, would you like some spy planes? Because I can do spy planes. That would be fantastic. Yep. See? I think I'm his ACU I'm is down here in the water, if I'm not totally mistaken, which means we'll probably need torpedo bombers to kill him. Torpedo bombers are also a thing that I can do. Yep, I found uh, his commander. Alright. I'll get on uh, building some torpedo bombers and I'll hope that it makes a difference. That'll let you All kill right. the second guy. <laughs> I've got the Monkey Lord on him with torpedoes, but Monkey Lord torpedoes are so hilariously weak that uh, it'll probably take an hour to kill that ACU. Oh. I'll, I'll put some spy planes up there. All I'm right. halfway done with the Soul Ripper. Not that it's going to be any use. <laughs> oh, soul, rip soul Rippers are so cool, though, aren't they? They are awesome machines. That really like they them. are. Good lord. His right. ACU is regening almost as fast as the uh, Monkey Lord torpedoes are damaging him. I've got, uh, I've got three torpedo bombers. It should that's, be that's more than enough to, to harass him to death. Alright, where's he at? Right next to my monkey lord in the water. He is indeed over there. Awesome. Let's see, on 10,000 health. That's respectable. Alright. So, presumably, are torpedo bombers uh, quite effective? Yes, yes. Um, okay. five yeah, yeah. of them do, like, 3,000 damage per pass, if I'm not totally mistaken. Wow. Yeah, this dude's going down. This dude is, this dude is going down. 
I'm gonna sit on top of him. I suppose this is kind of like teabagging him with a monkey lord, but not quite as effective. <laughs> Stop going in circles! <laughs> Saying, use use ground fire. There we go. Trampled him to death. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Stomp him to death. Exactly. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, yeah. The T fours are in the massive armor type, and those they actually do damage um, when you trample over stuff. Kind of hilarious. If you have somebody hiding in the water, you can actually walk over them repeatedly with a Galactic Colossus and they will eventually die. <laughs> that just sounds like phenomenal fun. That just sounds absolutely <laughs> epic. All right. So that's going to wrap up the introductory game. I think we're going to go play another one. I am going to cut this recording session off uh, for this video and then we're going to jump over there. So... Definitely check out the description of this video for the link to Orbital Potato's channel if you want to check out some more RTS stuff. He plays a lot of different RTS games. You should go check that out. And uh, I'll actually see you over there on that channel, I think, on Monday, if I'm not totally mistaken. So we'll see you guys over there. Bye.